My name is Andrew Baildham. I work as a specialist breast surgeon. My main practice is at the University Hospital of South Manchester and the Christie Regional Cancer Centre, and that's one of the biggest breast and breast cancer practices in the United Kingdom. My background was in general surgery originally, and as a registrar I was offered a research fellowship in the molecular biology of breast cancer. That was two years leading to an MD degree. And I got turned on by the science of it and the challenge of the disease and the, the unmet need, uh, both surgically and uh, medically and socially. Having gone back into general surgery as a senior registrar, uh, I had an MD with a couple of dozen papers already and then looked at the surgery that was being undertaken for women with breast cancer and felt there had to be a better option. So on my own initiative, I obtained training in plastic and reconstructive surgery of the breast over a period of several years. And as a consultant, I've combined that as a, com as a seamless breast cancer and reconstructive type of service. As a registrar in general surgery, I was offered a research fellowship into the molecular biology of breast cancer over two years. That was partly in London and partly at the Christie Patterson Laboratories. And after a few months in that, I became captivated by the science and realized that here was a, a, an exciting and interesting new specialty that could be developed. And having got an MD and a couple of dozen papers, uh, I then went back in to general surgery as a senior registrar and realized that the surgery itself hadn't really changed for a couple of decades. And there was all the option open to develop plastic and reconstructive breast surgery in association with the actual cancer surgery. So creating something that you've had to destroy in order to treat the disease. The types of procedures that I do are exclusively around breast surgery predominantly breast cancer surgery, and that involves removing cancers either by total mastectomy or by partial breast resection. And I have a big practice now of both total breast reconstruction and also partial breast reconstruction. Now, partial breast reconstruction is done at the same time as the wide excision of the cancer. Total reconstruction can be done either at the same time or at a later date after all the cancers care is finished. Built onto those, I have a big experience of risk reducing surgery for women at very high risk of breast cancer, usually by virtue of carrying a gene mutation such as a BRCA1 or a BRCA2. And I have a series of over 200 women that I've now undertaken bilateral mastectomies with immediate reconstruction for, uh, with some very good uh, outcomes and certainly a huge reduction so far in breast cancer incidence in those women. The kind of care I try to offer my patients is holistic with a W. And that means looking at them as complete people, not just as a disease or a diagnosis or a part of them that needs surgery. And it's good to be able to do that within the context of a team with specialist breast care nurses. I try to relate to patients as people, as individuals, to care for them over a period of time, uh, to be aware of their fears, their needs, their quality of life, and to try and take all of that into account. Some of my most rewarding moments come with Christmas cards, when I get cards from women who I've treated usually 10 years ago, and I keep them all, um, big pile, and that's lovely. There are specific things that I do remember as being particularly overwhelming, such as the grandmother who came with her first grandchild in her arms and said, I had breast cancer nine years ago, and if I hadn't had the treatment, then I wouldn't be here today introducing my new granddaughter to you, which was just wonderful. And also, the youngest woman I ever treated was only 17 with a breast cancer, and she's now in her late 20s and has children of her own. And it's things like that when they come and they tell you how they are and bring their families along, which I find overwhelmingly satisfying. And You can take all the numbers and the graphs and the statistics and the molecules out of it. At the end of the day, I'm dealing with real people with real lives, and that's the most rewarding part of all. When I'm away from my working life, my most important thing is my family, 
My wife Eileen is a consultant paediatrician in Alder Hay in Liverpool and has a tertiary level job just as stressful and high powered as mine is, but we put those two together. We have two uh, grown up children now, a daughter and a son. Neither of them are in medicine. They say we work too hard and we're always late. Maybe there's something in that. Uh, but I like to do things with the family as much as I can. Uh, and as far as activities go, I like climbing mountains, I like painting, I like traveling, uh, I like music, and Eileen's particularly very involved in that. She's a fabulous pianist, and so we get involved in that side of life quite a lot.